The Nature, Culture, Sustainability Studies programme is really built on the proposition that we're facing alarming problems, wicked problems, climate change, biodiversity loss, pollution, which is often funnelled from rich to poor, energy poverty and energy affluence. So how can we think about these questions, drawing from the knowledges of the humanities, social sciences, to get to a more viable, humane and just climate future? One of the big problems with the world right now is the crisis of the imagination. And we've fallen into these corners of thinking about human, non-human relationships. The program encourages students to think more theoretically in terms of making, thinking, doing in relationship to these particular sets of issues. The program is ideal for someone who wants to have a social dimension to their work, but also an ethical dimension that they want to think of design not simply as a commercial enterprise, that they're thinking that these are active mediums, that they can make a difference. Culture is central to nature culture sustainability because the culture impacts both the relationship of the people to nature and also how sustainability is going to function. In a conventional academic institution, you know, you will be able to understand the world that has gone very well. And we're interested in the rigour of that world. We are also very committed to understanding the world of the future. And it's going to constantly require iterative, inventive, thoughtful transitioning. And this is really what is at the core of RISD. We're really trying to train students who have a kind of interventionist activist event from all different kinds of backgrounds, art and design backgrounds, liberal arts backgrounds, folks who are already working in environmental studies areas. I've learned so much from my classmates because they all come from diverse backgrounds. It's been a great dynamic. This program is really designed for students who want a collaborative, post-disciplinary experience, who have a real interest in plotting their own course of study. RISD as an institution is marked by a fascination with experimentation, with iterative learning, with making and remaking. This is exactly what we need as more generalisable capacities for publics more broadly. One of the strengths at RISD, because we are a relatively small institution, is it allows for a lot of one-on-one -on -one attention and training, and that comes not just from the faculty members um, in the individual disciplines, but from what's called um, the academic commons. So things like the museum, the library, and the nature lab, we exist there as a resource for all students. In terms of the faculty, we have anthropologists, art historians, literary scholars, political economists, geographers. It's a, it's a really wide array of not only thinkers, but also types of thinking and methodologies, and it allows for conversations across disciplines. We can imagine students who might go on for a PhD in the environmental humanities or the environmental social sciences, go on to create an amazing entrepreneurial opportunity for themselves in an environmental field. Environmental NGOs, green businesses, campaigning contexts, working in creative contexts. We need to start iteratively redesigning many more aspects of our world. And this moves well beyond the question of material products. It touches services, it touches aesthetics, it touches culture. And I think that the ecological innovators of the future are going to come out of this kind of program. That's why I'm here, it's to be able to go out into the world and solve these problems that are so daunting. But if we apply creative solutions to it, we can fix it. We're going to build systems of knowledge that allow them to leave here and follow whatever direction they want, they need to go in sustainable design.